Good day and welcome back to another DBC Doka Metal video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 TURs. Well, sorry, the top 10 LRs. There we go. In Doka Metal, this is going to include Easy Aid LRs, and um, we're going to see just which ones I think are the best. Uh, again, this is my own list. Uh, I used to do SBR and Red Zone and Shadow Dragons and stuff, but now with so much different content like Shadow Dragons, Red Zone, uh, Anniversary Battle, uh, SBR, ESBR, Infinite Dragon Ball History, to do different tier lists for all of them. Uh, I don't like doing lots of tier lists uh, because it's just like ranking units is not necessarily the craziest thing because it gives players the impression that other units are not good. Uh, but obviously, you know, do kind of want to like give my thoughts and opinions on who I think is the best. So, yeah, this is obviously um, you know, my own list. So, please give me your opinions below. I'd love to hear them. But yeah, let's take a look. So, I'm just going to select the ones that I think should be eligible on the list. Uh, and then after that, we'll take a look at which ones I think are the top 10. So Beerus and Whis, uh can be in there. I think uh, we can put both SS4s just for the sake of it. Uh, I think we can have the... Uh, let's put in Cell, just because I won't be including JP and JP EZAs. So unfortunately, like Baby, Khalifla and Kale, uh, they all, and the Gobros, they all receive their EZAs, but we will not be taking a look at them. Uh, doesn't mean they're not good, it just means I haven't had enough experience to rank them. Uh, Gohan, Cell, God Goku, Spirit Bomb Goku, Gogeta, Vegito. Um, hmm. Let's see, the sixth year LRs are not going to be there, unfortunately. Uh, which sounds weird to say. Uh, the seventh year LRs, definitely. Uh, then we can have worldwide celebration units yeah let's put them in there be interesting to see um, who's next Goku and Piccolo Vegeta and Trunks AGL Freezer Zamasu Kula these boys yeah we got lots to we got lots to work through here all right now we're looking this is this is a list this is a hell of a list. Damn. This one's going to be hard. Okay. So this this is going to be difficult. I think to get things out the way, I think I'm going to split them into two packs. Because there's definitely like uh, Trunks and Vegeta in the top. Gohan, Piccolo, uh, the 8th year LRs, Belma. Um, who else here? Vegito, Gogeta, Gohan, Cell, the seventh year LRs, AGL Golden Freezer, and then these four, I think, and Cooler, because he's cool. Yeah, I think, so I think, hmm, hmm, he's kind of, he's kind of toying with, okay, so I think before I go on, just kind of want to explain. Oof, yeah, he's gonna be there. I just kind of want to explain, kind of where my head's at um, when it comes to these, you know, these units. So I would consider these units here probably the top units in the game. So maybe these, this row here, is the top LRs in the game. Uh, you could argue that Goku and Gohan are there. I think they're too limited to be there. It's the same story with Boo. It's the same story, uh, yeah, with with these three, unfortunately. But I think these units, due to versatility or just overpoweredness in the case of Belma, I think these guys are top, top, top tier choices. I think they're probably the top units in the game, and you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's your top ten. And I'll explain, I'll kind of talk through these ones. 
I think these, I think Goku can maybe fall in here. I think these are your next run of units, whether it's due to versatility or lack of versatility or the level of strength of their team. Whereas when you look at Cooler, I think they're just not there yet. I think these units are all great, but they are lacking something. You need dupes of Merge Zamasu. You need dupes of pretty much all of these units, and these guys are just terribly limited, unfortunately. And then I think these units are all great. He needs more defense. He needs to stack faster. So dupes, dupes, uh, limited in terms of teams, big time. Dupes, limited, hugely. Falling off a little bit. Falling off, falling off a little bit. Uh, still great, but need dupes, need catering, need team building. So we can remove all these guys, uh, I think. And obviously honorable mention to these folk but we can start dissecting the list from these ones so let's talk about maybe my personal top five and for me honestly speaking and it's just based on how much i use them and everything but i think here here uh, like this is probably what i'm thinking uh in terms of like units in general um personally speaking and i guess this is probably gonna you know people are gonna probably raise their eyebrows big time i think we get judged so hard for this but uh yeah honestly speaking this is probably close to what i think in terms of teams um yeah i think you could do something like this and the reason why i pair up the units i know it's a top 10 list but when a unit is kind of like the same thing in terms of power level and especially when they're coming out as pairings or easy a pairings or together or whatever i think to separate them is kind of folly in reality so and this one's probably going to get me in the most in trouble um because oh you know uh, I have them at 55% and uh, took them into the hardest fight and I had to leave them in slot 1 and they took 300k damage. Well, there you go. Congratulations. You just answered your question. You have them at 55%. You took them into the hardest event in the game and they took 300k damage. That's it. As a first start unit. They are tremendous. Bond of parents and child. Tremendous category. Future. Going to get buffed at Worldwide uh, Celebration. They're going to be number one. That's it. I don't agree with anyone who disagrees. Uh, I think you guys look at damage, and damage is great, but the fact that they can just build a team, that pretty much includes every single unit on this list, by the way, is pretty crazy. Literally every unit except for him, sorry, him and him, is on their category, literally, and maybe her. Like every single unit barring some of the extreme ones down here. So, yeah is what it is um go on and, and sell you know go on i know below his health threshold yada 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 go on guards he's a slot one tank he does good damage he builds up so quickly his transformation is probably the most powerful unit in the game still uh always kind of was one of them and now his transformation really is the most powerful unit in the game uh doesn't you know come my heart includes like eighteen thousand units he's really good man link set's great uh cell way more limited but cell at his peak matches gohan if not even slightly better he can do huge damage 26 million attack stats good defense good healing gohan and piccolo um you know maybe you can interchange him with gogeta and vegeta but honestly speaking, I'm going to be honest, like, these guys, people can say what they want about Gohan especially, but leader skills, awesome, superhero, great category, strength, they're powerful, active skills are useful, giant form is useful, Gohan does like 16 million damage in his third turn, Piccolo can tank and heal, they're just very, very good. Gogeta Vegito, probably the best damage dealer units in the game, 
I think, or up there. Especially Gogeta. Gogeta is my favorite damage dealing unit in the game. There's a reason why both of them are crucial to my beating the X stage and X turn challenges. Because they do just output huge damage. The Aether LRs, um, I don't enjoy using them. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the standby skills. I don't know if it's the link sets. These guys, I think, benefit later on from getting SS4 Goku, but they just don't feel right at 55%. They feel a little bit better, but their team just doesn't feel right at 55%. It's, yeah, it's a difficult one for me. I didn't get them. I did use them in Cell Max. I did use them in Red Zone. I have used them in the Sin Shenron event. They just don't feel... Whereas with these units, when I use them, I feel like they're the cornerstone of my team. These units do not feel like that. Goku, uh, actually really good uh, still to this day. I think people who think he's not good don't have him. Uh, he's excellent. His leader skill maybe is a bit questionable, 200% powerful comeback, but he's awesome. Guarding against all types, revive skill, damage dealing, everything's just great. Bulma is more limited than probably every unit on this list, but is also exceptional. Uh, literally does everything. Like, absolutely everything you want out of a unit. So yeah, I uh, can't really say much more about Bulma. She's fantastic. Uh, the seventh year LRs, probably worse than these guys. If I'm being honest, these guys are limited. Uh, but I definitely think the these two are great. I think they're great. These guys get a big buff with the SS4 full power Goku. Uh, these guys just lead probably the most powerful team in the game. But these guys are really good. And although they are limited in terms of category, link set, comparative, I don't. I wouldn't say they're so limited, especially compared to the SS4 units, that they warrant being below them. Uh, I think they're actually really, really good. They could be higher as well, uh, but I do think them being limited in terms of like this guy links with this guy and so you also have to measure who units kind of function with like these two function together so as much as you can say well maybe they're here and here thing is is together they're four together they're, they're probably the most powerful rotation in the game or top three even could probably go up and people say well if you don't have both well the thing is is a lot of people do have both and you can get a friend to be your lead and yeah, like you have to kind of measure that. These two together do make a really fun pairing. They are really strong together. And I do think they could be higher. Could potentially be higher. It could be like this. That's maybe the best representation. And then we come to these units in 10. And Freeze is great and Cool is great, but they're hard carrying their team. Their team is very limited. It doesn't have enough to work and that's always going to limit them unfortunately same with boo he's great but the martian power team is just not there even with strength boo it's just not there as a team this goku's great and in theory i guess he's the same thing as this goku but for me i don't know what it is i think it's his leader skill i think it's just him he doesn't feel as good and god goku probably falls out the list honorable mention to be there he is strong he is versatile and i think that's what makes him you know really makes him solid uh, at least for me but yeah that's my thoughts uh, i'd love to hear what you guys think and yeah see you guys in the next one so until then take care stay safe and bye